Today on Dry Curl Studios, we do an amp head shootout between the Paul Reed Smith MT15 Mark Tremonti lunchbox head and the Marshall DSL 100 HR head. So very quickly, I understand that this is 15 watts and this is 100 watts. These are in similar price ranges, so this might be something that you'd be looking at either this or this, potentially, um, as an amp head purchase. So we do have two sound samples here. The first one is boosted with an Ibanez TS9 Tube Screamer, and the second one is just both amps. <laughs>
you go. There's the amp head shootout between the M215 from Paul Reed Smith, the Mark Tremonti signature lunchbox head, that's long, and the Marshall DSL 100HR head. So this here is the second version of the uh, DSL 100 Vietnamese range, the first one being just the uh, DSL 100H. This one's the HR, so it's the newer version. Um, as far as I know, the only real difference is there's a treble boost, um, a bit of a treble boost in the HR, uh, as well as there's an IR of a 1960 um, cabinet in the back for silent recording. So, like I said earlier in the video, these are in similar uh, budget ranges, so if you're looking for a first amp head, this is a great um, choice, either one of these, or if you're just looking to add some more flavor or what have you to your um, amp head collection, I would call it, I guess, um, kind of what I did, um, then again, both of these here, great choices. Um, the 15 watt head, you can there's some sort of mod, uh, which I think is a couple of hundred dollars, to actually boost this from 15 to 50 watts and involves uh, an output transformer, which scares the crap out of me. Good thing I don't own this head, this is Kevin's. Uh, and yeah, I mean, that's really something that if you are worried about the 15 watts uh, being an issue, that there is a mod to do that. Uh, and again, this is 100 watts, and there's a low and a high power selection. That's really all I got to say. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If this is something that you are trying to decide yourself, uh, don't take just the video as uh, what, you know, how to make your choice. Maybe it'll help you. Um, but really, the best thing to do is to actually go into the store and try things out, because there's no real guarantee that it'll sound exactly like it sounds uh, when I play it because I have different hands, um, different choices or tastes or what have you. And um, chances are you might be able to get a better sound than I got. Anyway, thanks for watching.